Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Starting you guys off with something fun today. I have a clothing haul for you. I have a bunch of stuff hanging right here and what I'm wearing too. How freaking cute is this? So thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with them before. I wear their stuff all the time. Literally, I love it all. Before I even show you anything, I want to let you know that you guys can use the code AROSE for 15% off of any full priced item. So let's do a little try on haul. Everything that I try on will be all linked in the description box. Everything is so nice and affordable without sacrificing the quality we love. Let's start off strong with what I'm wearing because I am literally obsessed. This surprised me so much. I had picked some items and Halara actually threw in this pair of pants that I didn't choose. So when I opened it, I was like, not really my style, but let me try them on. Um, when I tell you I'm going to be wearing these pants literally all the time, they're like a stretchy pant, but they look like jeans. And they are so flattering and comfortable, you guys. Like, are you joking me? These are so cute. They fit so good. The length is perfection. Booty looks so nice. And they're comfortable. They're stretchy. I am literally about to get these in more shades. I'm not even kidding. Dark denim is usually not my go-to. I like a more light color. But with this white top, this is also from Halara, it is the perfect combo. Like, I feel so cute in this. So highly recommend. Like, look at this material. It's so comfy and there's real pockets and you could even put a belt too. I'm so excited about these and check out this top It has a built-in bra with it and then it's like mesh at the bottom. This is so cute I think I might use this as a top for our Christmas party. I have like green sparkly pants I think this would go so nice with it and I love a square neckline I think it's so flattering and I love thumb holes I didn't even realize this shirt had thumb holes and this is just oh my god happy days I am obsessed with this outfit. I'm so comfy and feel so cute and so put together. Next up, I have these two jackets that when I saw them on the site, so excited. Of course, I got the chocolatey brown and the beige kind of color. Pretty sure they had black too. Most of their stuff on their website comes in so many different colors. They have a huge size range, a huge color range, and you can style their stuff in so many different ways for so many different occasions. There's something for everybody on there. How cute. Is this not the cutest little layering piece? The crop is so perfect. Look how cute it is! Pretty thin too, so you can layer for the winter. If you like want it part of your outfit, you can put a winter jacket over it and then just have this as part of the fit. This is an extra small, by the way. I'll put all the sizes in the description next to the links. For reference, I'm 5'1". I'm usually a size small. This still fits nice though. All right, the rest are bottom, so let's try them on. First up, we have these brown corduroy pants high-waisted. All right, I'm over by my vanity so you guys can see the material. They are so stretchy, so comfortable, so soft, and they go wide leg at the bottom. Nice and flattering in the back. You can dress these so many different ways. I got these in an extra small and they fit really nice. I think I went off the reviews and I did pretty much an extra small in everything just because I wanted it to be, you know, fitted and flattering. I love the cut at the bottom of these two. I literally would wear these like lounging around the house. Like they're that comfortable. Sign me up. Next up are these joggers. I just tucked my shirt so you can see like the waistline better. These are so buttery soft, so comfortable, so flattering. Like how cute with the little slippers for lounging around the house. These could take you from lounging around the house to workout to errands, easy. And I got them in black too. Here's a little full body view, big fan. Okay, literally I'm obsessed with this and the best part, <gasps> There's shorts underneath. Are you kidding me? It's like the softest corduroy material and it fits so good. And the like shape of it is so flattering. Like I'm just in my slippers and it looks so good. <laughs> I love this. It's the perfect length, I feel like. This is so versatile. I can picture it now with some stockings or I would literally wear this in any other season and just ditch the stockings. Love this color too. This one comes with the white shorts underneath. <gasps> Wait, I really want to wear this for our Christmas party. I've had this shirt and it was a little small on me. I wonder if it would fit because of this with this skirt. That might make me want to ditch the sparkly pants. That is a vibe. Also got these pants. I ordered a black, but they were out of stock, so they replaced them for me in this color. If you work like an office job, these are so nice because they look so professional, 
but they're comfy you know you can add a belt to them they come in so many different colors last item is one of my faves i have these in other colors as well i have the straight across waistline and i have the crisscross one of my favorite pairs of pants this time i sized down and i think the extra small is better i have a little bit less fabric here in the front i would just go by their size chart and their reviews but i'm usually a 26 in jeans so if that helps i'm wearing an extra small and I always get the petite length. It's a perfect length for me. And these are like a forest green color. I already have black. I have like a purplish. I have a navy blue. So I was like, ooh. This has been my color. I love it. Here's the fabric and the color and everything up close. Comfortable. Flattering. You can wear these for so many different things. So cute with Uggs. Sign me up. So if you guys want to try out any of those items I just showed you, again, I'll have them all linked in my description box. Their website is really easy to navigate and order from, so let me know your favorite piece. And don't forget to use my code AROSE for 15% off of any full-priced items. Get to shopping. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 6. We are on a roll. We are halfway there. <gasps> Wow. I feel like we're doing pretty good, not gonna lie. Took a little bit to get on track, but I think I found the balance now and I feel good about it. I just put yesterday's Vlogmas live and I just got dressed. These yoga pants are from Halara, which I think hopefully you just saw in the beginning of this video. I don't remember where this is from. This is like a few years old. What does it say? Anything? I don't remember to be fair. Actually, I think this is really old. Like when I lived at home old. <laughs> I don't know why I still have it, but I was like, that's cute. I'm gonna wear it today. And then oh, I'm just wearing slippers now, but I'm just gonna wear Uggs. Zane and I are gonna go run some errands today. We have to go to a lot of different places. So I'm gonna take you guys along. We're doing a potluck for our Christmas party. So we're gonna cook some stuff. People are gonna bring some stuff. So we need to go to Costco. We need to get a bunch of stuff for the party. Just a general house restock. So it's gonna be a big Costco haul. So I'm so excited for that. We have some Amazon returns. We have to go to Abercrombie. Zane has to pick up an order. I have to do return actually I have to pick which skirts I'm keeping I have to do that too before we leave target pick up a few things like that but anywho we were just like we need to eat lunch before we go what are we gonna have and then I just remember that factor got delivered oh my goodness couldn't be more perfect timing just want something quick and easy before we leave so I'm gonna throw two of these in the microwave for Zane and I so we can get on with our day what are uh, you doing I love this beanie <gasps> you don't but, like the pom-pom yeah I just feel like it's it. teenager. I put it on and I felt like a clown. Okay. No, but look, it has a little thing right here. See that white piece? Oh. I'm just gonna try to cut that. Oh my God, this kitchen needs a wipe down. Don't look at our counters. Huh. Can I pull this out? Maybe from the inside. Ah! Yeah. Oh my nice. God, life hack. There we go. Let's see. It's not going my bean. I have to limit over this, but. Bean head. Mong beans. That's so weird. <laughs> Look what they sent with my order. <gasps> Zay's gonna be so happy. He can't have regular protein because the whey destroys him. These are plant based and it's cold brew and chocolate banana. Oh my god, wait, he's gonna die. He is gonna die. Babe, I have the best surprise ever for you. What is that? Pro cold brew protein shake. It's plant. Oh my god. And banana and chocolate banana. Wow, and there's coffee in it? <laughs> is that or not so you? I think just the cold brew is coffee. And then this one's banana, chocolate A banana. Plant based cold brew coffee? Sign me up. <laughs> wow, baby, this is the best day ever. What? I'm gonna keep him right here. What? <laughs> Send help. <laughs> Yum. I love this one. I know you do. Oh. What? I splatter potatoes. Mmm. Okay, so. Oh, oh, God. You just dripped on you? <laughs> Game plan. Costco, Abercrombie, Amazon returns, Target. Maybe Lidl, if we need uh, little things, actually, yeah. We're gonna need to stop at Lidl, I think. Well, listen, like I said, I had to be home by five. Yeah, okay, we got this. We'll be good then. Costco. You know, we can get lost in there for sure. We need stuff for the house and for the party. That's, I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, but I have a list, so I think we'll be good. I think the earlier we go to Costco, the better. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I agree because I think People Abercrombie, getting out of work. Well, I was going to say Abercrombie plus the returns could always wait an extra day if we have to. You know what I mean? Precisely, yeah. I'd rather get the Costco stuff. That's like most important. And the Target pickup. Okay. I'm excited. I've been looking forward to leaving the house. <laughs> I feel like I haven't left the house in days. Yeah, we'll have a fun little errand day. Yeah, I know. I'm doing good today already. Zane gave me a pep talk last night on like just organizing my time and things like that. And I feel so much better today. 
Sometimes you just need a little pep talk from your partner. Mm -hmm. Right? Do I Absolutely. give you pep talks and make you feel like that? Absolutely. I do? I love to hear that. I just did a quick little five minute makeup, throw my jacket in my purse, I gotta fill it. And we're ready to go. Oh my god, so cute. Okay, Abercrombie, Amazon. First stop, Target. I have two curbside pickup orders. Target pickup, check. Next stop, UPS for Amazon return. Easy peasy, we are getting things done. All right, the big boy stop, Costco. Let's do the damn thing. Costco Adventures with Liz and Zane. Costco oh, Adventures yeah. with Liz and Zane. Where they keep the Costco up. Zane's As always. must, Zane's staple. I do miss the dark chocolate, but yeah, I can get it is what they got, yeah. You need more pecans or no? No. These are calling my name. Sounds amazing. A little chocolate treat. Probably. Got it. Oh, they're probably so good. We gotta try something new, you Those know? look good, but I can't have them. Yeah. All right, this is my aisle right here. What do they got? What do they got? Low key. Cheez Its? Is it 20? It's three. Wait, hold on. $13 from three pounds of gold. We have some still. Oh, we're running low. Oh, we're too low. We're getting, we're in danger zone. Fish is my, <laughs> my oxygen. The thing about Costco is we'll have our favorites and then all of a sudden they'll be gone, but they'll distract us with something else. We love these we buffalo love wing these. ones. And they have honey mustard and onion and cheddar cheese. Bang. New little snacky, little rotation. Maybe they're onto something. A little rotation? Yeah. Okay. We need lots of this for party. Two. We need three, but you know, they come in twos, so close enough. Hold on, we're already doing bad. These need to all go on the bottom. We're gonna have no space up here. Like the bottom of the cart, we're gonna need to get like at least two cases of water though. Water? Really? For, for the pump. Yeah, we haven't like, um, we don't have much water bottles left. Okay. This is fun right here. I forget I said anything. Okay, Tetris. Exactly. Every time we come to Costco and I pass this, I really want to try it. It just has sesame in it. So I'm like, I can't like marinate any meat in it, you know, for dinner and stuff. Yeah, we've gone on whatever but we want. yeah, I can use it for my own stuff, I guess. Drinks for the party. Brisk, water, mixers, alcohol. I put on the invite also for people to bring any alcohol they would like. So hopefully you can do that. This is perfect. Two chips. Good brand. Yeah. I was gonna get the bags from Lidl, but then I'm like, wait, we're going to Costco. We need so many chips. Why don't we just get a giant bag of them? I don't even know if this is enough, to be honest. Making buffalo dip. This is something I've missed the most, I'm not gonna lie. We need two of them. It's gonna be what? A dark day. Oh yeah, when we can't find them again? I'm gonna be so upset. Oh, so good. If there's no sesame in these, I'm gonna get them for the party. Contain sesame. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that if Zane can't eat them. Pass. No. See what else they got? Little bites that we can throw in the oven for the party. This is better. There we go. Zane's fave. No sesame. Perfect party item. Okay, we got some waters. One of the best things about our house is that we have extra fridges, honestly. Seriously. It comes in so <laughs> Yeah. Highly recommend if you guys don't have an extra fridge in your garage. Make that your next little investment. It doesn't even have to be a nice fridge, just in your garage. Like literally just go get like a cheapy one. Just have extra space. So nice. These are so good. Miss these too. Okay, actually I found Tostito scoops and I like these better for buffalo dip. So we're gonna get two of those. 99. Please remove all stand items. Need assistance. Damage is done. How much was it? 344. That's not bad. For our stuff and party stuff, that's good. Yeah. Right, next stop, Abercrombie. Worked out perfectly. Zane has to pick up his shirt for the party. I can't wait to see it on you. I hope I it. Know, I'm yeah, excited. I hope it's exactly what you yeah, thought it would be. I think it's gonna be nice. Yeah, and then I have a return. So let's get it done. Yeah, they have a lot of nice stuff in there. I know. Yeah, love. Why do we? Why do they have that scary ambiance playing? I hate scary. it. I feel like it's angelic. No, I don't like it. Where's my upbeat Christmas music? It's like oh, You're the yeah. <laughs> All right, we are home everybody damage is done. We did so good so good on timing We got 
pretty much everything we needed. I just need like a quick little legal run. Like the day before the party, I'm going to get my nails done. So while I'm out, I'll probably just go grab that. Okay, ready? Here we go, haul. I'm gonna show you everything we got. First things first, Target pickup. A non-food item, but I'm so excited about these. I got these tights. They have this design on the back of the leg. Oh, one of the girls that works at Bridal Reflections is stunning and me and my friend take like literally fashion inspo from her i'm like i need a link to that i need to know what boots you were wearing i need those stockings because she's just like she's not an influencer but i'm like you would kill it on tiktok because i literally would buy everything you promote so had to get these tights because of her they were literally only 10 bucks so good target find with like a high boot under a dress or a skirt yes then for the party i'm making a couple different things so you guys are gonna keep up right now okay first things first i am definitely making my levain cookies i'm just make one batch it makes like 10 big cookies but i'm like we have so much food and it's like potluck so everyone's bringing something so i'm like i can just cut the cookies up into little bite-sized pieces and put them on a little platter so i got the oreos for that I got the chocolate for that. I think I have everything else. I have to double check, but like I said, we definitely have to make a little run. So if I need anything else, we'll get it. I got some sourdough from Target just to have no specific reason. I found crushed garlic cubes at Target. Ran out of these. I love these for crock pots. It's so easy when it just calls for garlic and you just want to throw everything in. You don't want to chop garlic up. Throw these little guys in. I was going to get this for Zane's stocking and then I said I'm going to get one for my stocking as well because these are incredible. 10 out of 10. These items I got for an upcoming Vlogmas. I wanna try a new recipe with you guys. I've been wanting to try it and I was like, Vlogmas is the perfect reason. So I wanna try to make crispy rice with tuna on top. We're gonna have to make a trip to H Mart, so that'll be fun too. We'll just, we'll do that like maybe this upcoming weekend after the party possibly, or like next week, whatever. Vlogmas is already over on like Tuesday or something. And then I have to get packing and ready to leave for our Texas trip, which is gonna be so much fun as well. You guys have a lot of fun content coming up. But anyways, we're gonna make a trip to H Mart. I got the sticky rice. I made it easy for myself and I just got this microwavable one. I got some rice vinegar and I'm gonna get sushi grade tuna at H Mart and we're gonna try to make crispy rice. I think I'm gonna use Remy Ashton's recipe. She has a version on there that you can make in the air fryer too, instead of deep frying. I'm more of an air fryer gal. So I'm gonna try it that way and we'll see how I do. But I fell in love with it when we went to Nobu. It was so good and I wanna try to make it at home. Then I was requested to make my buffalo dip. I feel like now I make this crock pot buffalo dip for like every occasion, but it is very easy. So I just got the ranch and the buffalo Frank's red hot to make that. I still have to get the cheese, but I'll get that legal. I just needed like a block, so. Now let's go on to Costco. We got a restock of eggs. Another dish I'm making for the Christmas party, we're gonna have to do a lot of cooking together, is that really easy tortellini dish. You basically use like a jar of sauce, a block of cream cheese, some mozzarella on top. It's really, really easy. And I'm just gonna triple the recipe and make it for a big crowd. And it's delicious, so love that. We're also obsessed with this edamame and we only have like two little pouches left. It's so easy to microwave. It's so high quality. Highly recommend. That can go in the upstairs freezer until we're ready for it. My friend Brenna is bringing chicken cutlets. So I got some burrata to put on the side and I'm gonna heat up some sauce. So people can put, you know, some sauce and burrata on top of their chicken cutlets. Which speaking of, here's the sauces that we got. I just got so much Rayos. I'm gonna use two jars for my tortellini and then I'm gonna heat one up for on the side, like to dip Italian bread in. I have someone bringing garlic knots. I guess it's kind of like an Italian theme on like planned. Zane loves these Jamaican beef patties. So that's a repurchase. We got two packages of these. These are our absolute favorite. If you like a McChicken from McDonald's, you throw these in the microwave and it gives that. You could literally add some lettuce and mayo. I've done that before. And it tastes like a McChicken. And it's just a quick, easy, when you wanna have something for lunch, but you're in a pinch and you want something like fast foodie tasting, so good. I showed you guys this. I've really been wanting to try this sauce. I'm so excited to try it. I hope it's good because this bottle is like $10. Let's open it. Mmm. Oh, it smells like hibachi. Does that have to be refrigerated? Oh yeah, refrigerate after opening. Okay, so I guess we're gonna refrigerate it now. Let me throw this top out. Got some meats. This Zane just wanted because he's like, every time we come to Costco, I look at it just like my Japanese barbecue sauce. So he just is going to snack on this and I probably will as well. Love a salty deli meat snack. Then we got prosciutto. I'm going to use this tonight. I'm going to make those flatbreads again. If you watched like two vlogs ago, I'll show it again tonight real quick. But I just threw together this flatbread and it was 
so yummy and i'm like babe you have to try it because zane didn't eat with me that night so i'm gonna make those for us tonight so we needed some prosciutto this is a lot but we love it so i'm sure this will be gone we have leftovers i don't want it to go bad so maybe i can put some out at the christmas party we'll see or i can freeze it too i guess zane loves these little applesauce pouches they look like baby food but easy so easy pop these in the microwave i put cholula on top of them so good this was a last minute grab but i'm like we can throw them in the oven upstairs so why not have some extra food so we're gonna make these mozzarella sticks for the party as well zane loves mozzarella sticks i mean so do i who doesn't we were looking at pigs in a blanket and we were like eh and then we were looking at chicken egg rolls and they had sesame in them so i was like perfect and this goes with like the italian theme that we have going on oh so nice feel it too Oh, it's really nice. I love it. Nice. Put them on gold chain with like Tony Soprano. Oh, Tony Soprano. You don't want my Crocs too, don't you worry. No, you're not. Dude, they never miss. No, Abercrombie slaps every time. So nice. I love their stuff. It's so worth it. And I got this on sale. It was like $67. I got it for 40 Nice. 38 <gasps> what a steal. Got some chocolates. These are Zane's choice. These were my choice. These are our snack packs of choice today. These little pretzel pieces I already explained and Zane loves his goldfish. I feel like every time we go, we at least get like one serving size snack bags because we just love them. And then we got a ton of meat. I'm going to use some of these chicken breasts for the buffalo dip. I make my chicken fresh. I actually saw they had pre-made shredded rotisserie chicken there and I was like, no, I need to make my own chicken. It's just always how I do it. I'm not going to change it up. I'm not going to cut corners. This is just for us to have some fresh ground turkey. This is for my tortellini dish. I did want to buy it just ground it up so I didn't have to remove the casing, but it's okay. And this is a lot. I only need three pounds. This is five, but we can always freeze it and use it again. Got some boneless skinless chicken thighs just for Zane and I because we've really been loving those. And then some scoops for my buffalo dip. And we got waters and brisk. We just kept it downstairs. Woo! That is everything. I think it would be smart if we brought in our outdoor cooler, the one that has the wheels and it like stands high. I'm gonna bring that in the house and I'll just like, what do you call it? When you like, like lock it into place so it doesn't roll around. That way we have a spot up here because we'll have the drink fridge downstairs, but I want a spot up here to have all the drinks and ice. Oh, babe. If someone asks what to bring, ice. Yeah. Okay. okay, perfect. Don't tell no one. Mm. Wow. How much do you guys want to bet that I'm going to eat one every day and then be gone by Christmas? <laughs> if you're not putting chocolates in your own stocking, you're doing it wrong. Also, I realized we've been forgetting to do this, so I moved it to five. I'm a person that does it by the day of the month versus the countdown. I don't know, just works better in my brain that way. Yes. So far his stocking is literally full of chocolate. use a can holder to hold Zane's applesauce because we have a drink shelf in this fridge and it works out perfect. Oh my god. I fit all of them. How satisfying. Okay, check it out. We got our meat up here. We are all stocked up on our goodies. Look at that. Satisfying. The fridge is a mess actually. Oh, we're gonna get there. Everything else is gonna go in the upstairs refrigerator. I'm just gonna separate this meat. Makes it easier when we wanna defrost it. It's not all stuck together. Okay. Oh, I'm sweating. This is giving me anxiety. Oh. Oh, oh my god, it's doing the slidey thing. I love the slidey thing. Ah! Wow, that makes me happy. Are we leaking? No, okay. Success. Okay, how satisfying is that? <laughs> I'm 
I'm so tired. I slept four hours and 50 minutes last night. I've not been getting good sleep. I've been going to bed way too late and waking up early. So tonight we're gonna change that because I feel so tired. I'm delirious. I'm like a eight, nine hour sleep type of gal. Like that's how much I need. And lately I've been getting like five, five and a half and it's catching up to me. Let's see how much of this sausage I'm gonna be needing. Two and a half, and I'm gonna need half of a package. I knew it, okay. So I'm gonna just freeze one of these sausage packages and the other three we're gonna use on Friday. And then also I like to keep one of each of our items in our own freezer down here and then the rest I put upstairs. So I know when we use this, I just replenish it. We always have one package in here, you know? So when I open this drawer and I'm like, what do we got to make for dinner? I have all the options. Actually, I forgot about the chicken breast. I put it in the fridge, but I'm gonna cut this apart too. All right, now this is all gonna get frozen. Zane and I are good on meat for dinners for like a month and a half. Okay. Okay, so I just put the chicken in this bag, but I wasn't filming it, but I'm like, I, oh, okay, I wanted to film that. So I like took it out because if I just did all the rest of it, that would have bothered me. This is something we talked about in therapy yesterday and I thought it was really interesting that she brought up. I was talking about my obsession with once I start something, I have to finish it. Otherwise my anxiety in my chest won't stop. And I was talking to her about our shot glass collection. I thought this was really interesting. She just hit the nail on the head so good. I'm like, yeah, like we've had this shot glass collection and I have a really hard time giving it up. I feel like we've had so many, so why would we stop? And she was like, okay, so this sounds like a thing where if you went to one location and you didn't get a shot glass, but then you went to the next and you got one, it would eat you alive that you didn't get a shot glass at that previous location. I'm like, absolutely it would. I said, we went to the Bronx Zoo for our anniversary in like 2021, I think it was, and we left the shot glasses in the hotel room. And I still think about it to this day. It still bothers me so much. So that's something that we're gonna work through, but I find myself doing it in the vlogs as well. I'll inconvenience myself to get the clip when it's not that big of a deal. Like I did not need to take out these two packets of chicken breast out of this bag in order to get my clip. I could have just kept putting the rest of the meat in here. I don't know, that was a random thought, but I thought that was really interesting when she brought that up to me and I was like, wow, that's exactly how I think. And that is not good because that literally doesn't matter getting a shot glass at a place, but it'll, my anxiety will like, oh my God, it bothers me so much. Anyways, I'm gonna put my meat in this bag now. Thank you for coming to my therapy session. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna bring this all upstairs. Welcome to upstairs. If you're new here, are you new here? <laughs> we have a little apartment upstairs that the previous owners did use as an apartment with a tenant. We are not doing that. However, this is gonna be a future space for our children. Right now it's guest bedrooms. It's just an extra space for us. Sometimes I'll have like a little girls night up here. My sister, when she visits from Texas, she'll sleep in here when my friends, a lot of my friends live far away, so they'll stay over. It's really nice to have this extra space. I love having a little kitchen too. I think it's so nice for people to be able to have their own space. I can give them waters in here. And I love that I have a mini kitchen up here for when our kids are older. Like I can just picture them like hanging out up here with their friends. Like they'll have their own rooms, their own bathroom, their own little hangout area. They can have their own little kitchen and they have their own entrance and driveway. <laughs> So I kept it as an apartment instead of doing anything else with it because I just think in the long run, it'll be really useful. And of course, we're gonna do some renovations up here over time. I've already painted most of the rooms, but there's some upgrades that I wanna make in this bathroom. We kept the vanity that they had. Clearly I need to clean up here. There was a cabinet, like a medicine cabinet here. We took that out, patched up the wall, put a mirror, put a new light fixture up there. We put in these shelves and I painted the walls in here as well. And the next thing that I wanna do is change out these floors. We have so much extra flooring. So this tile's gonna go and we're gonna put, you know, that wannabe wood shit. <laughs> and I wanna do the kitchen as well. I'll probably just end up painting these cabinets instead of replacing them, getting new handles. Just give it a nice little refresh. Maybe a little refresh on this countertop as well. In absolutely no rush at all. That probably won't happen for another like, at least like five to eight years, but we're getting there. This has become like a pile for stuff that was not going downstairs. I need to get some chairs for this table. It's our old kitchen table. And there's the babies. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, so we're gonna stock this fridge up. God. <laughs> These paintbrushes are hard as a rock. 
I keep random stuff up here. Like I have all these like soy sauces and stuff, like extras. And then I have like an extra mayo for when we need it. I honestly love it up here. How satisfying. I love it. I guess this doesn't have to go on top of here. There we go. Stocked up. <laughs> right? Right. The cats love it up here because it's carpet. So I think they like that their nails can stick into it and they have a long hallway. So they get the zoomies. So we'll randomly hear like pitter patters up here. And we just hope that it's the cats, you know? <laughs> right, Mugin? You guys love it up here? They've probably been destroying shit. I don't trust them. This is where I took my therapy session the other night. It's so nice because I can just come up here. Zane can make his music. He doesn't have to worry about being loud. He doesn't have to worry about going into the kitchen. And I can have my privacy. So that's my new little therapy corner. All right, I'm just doing a bit of cleaning. I had to refresh the cat boxes. They needed fresh litter and the deodorizer. I just vacuumed a little cat litter around. I'm gonna wipe down the counters, unload the dishwasher. A little maintenance, if you will. Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. you're missing I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true <laughs> I know <laughs> Good? Yeah, really good. Mmm. You just came up with Mm-hmm. Damn, baby. Such a good flavor combo. Only thing is we're missing the roasted red peppers. We don't have any. I wish we got some today. That definitely made a difference in the taste, but... A really good combo. Mm-hmm. So good. I can't even come up with this. Fire. Nice. I feel like I've done something like this before, no? Okay, that was so yummy, but I put a little too much lemon on there. <laughs> I put juice and zest before and after, something like this while I'm eating it. So yeah, if you make it, put your lemon, but don't put too much. <laughs> Throwing my Stanley in the dishwasher. I'm gonna get this started. Try and keep this kitchen nice and clean leading up to Friday so that I can start prepping everything. If you didn't know, this top piece of your Stanley pops out. So when you wash it, you can take it apart. Get all up under there. I was about to start it and I was like, wait, let me put my Stanley in there. Look how satisfying it fits. Oh, it's perfection. Both me and Zane sippies, bye. Oh, I just ordered rinse aid. Did it come yet? I don't think so. It didn't, okay. We'll go without it. All right, we're starting to accumulate some of the party stuff here in the laundry room. I'm gonna get these snacks out of the package. I'll make it nice and satisfying. I've only had the buffalo wing one, so I am curious to try the others. Oh my god, I set them all. Oh, so happy. If you guys want these bins, they're on my Amazon store. I'm obsessed with them. I love that they have a top. Because then I can go ahead and stack 
in the pantry. All right, let's do the goldfish. Of course, the ones that were already in here come out so they can go on top because I'm not a criminal. Oh my god, I love Whatever everything about do, that. We will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. Well, I'm all for Christmas. It's a magical time full of kisses. Okay, just got some cleaning and organizing done. I'm washing my bonnet from my hair oiling. Look at the water, it immediately turned black. I think I should have washed it before I used it. <laughs> Hopefully now it won't spread onto my pillow anymore. But I used it twice, right out of the package. So, it needed to be washed. I'm just giving it a quick little sink soak. My mom used to do this all the time when I lived at home. Did your mom used to do that? And I would walk into the bathroom like want to wash my hands but she had like her stuff soaking in the sink <laughs> also in my closet room i just swapped out these jackets i had my like tan and beiges up there and then my black were down here but i found that i was reaching for these colors of course a lot more literally look every single hanger is facing this way which means i've worn it already so i just thought it would be more convenient to have them down here because i was like getting annoyed trying to like get them back up there and they're so puffy and yeah it's just better down here so i swapped those all right we are in the pjs my shirt says, sorry, I can't. I have plans with my cat. <laughs> I'm gonna take my nighttime supplements. Is this garbage here? In the FedEx bag? Yeah. And then goldfish is just extra? Yeah, if you wanna keep them downstairs. Oh my God, I cannot take pills through a water bottle. My sippy's in the in the dishwasher. Like the straw, it helps it push it back yeah. to my throat. <laughs> I just spilled water all over myself. <laughs> I do not. I drink out of my sippy every day, and it's in the dishwasher, and I'm lost. I, I don't even know how to drink out of a water bottle anymore. Oh, that was <laughs> it's wet. The bed is wet. What the fuck? You okay? You need a napkin or something? Look at the bed. Oh my goodness, here. No, I'm fine. I just, Wait, I, get, just I forgot how out. to, I don't take pills with a, no, it's fine. It's not that much. You sure? Yeah, it's okay. Do you want to taste this with me? Let me try this. Sure, I'll dabble. I'm gonna try the Costco s'mores things we bought today. Let's make sure you're not gonna die. Oh, that would be tragic, huh? If they snuck a nut in there. That would be. So she said. <laughs> <laughs> that was a low-key good I one. Snuck a nut in there. I'm so excited for these. Milk chocolate. Ooh. Mm. Fire. Reminds me of a chocolate covered pretzel. But with a marshmallow flavor to them. Mm. Mm, good. I can foresee somebody downing a whole bag if they were drunk or something. That's what this kind of snack is to me. What, caramel? What? Caramel? Yeah. In my s'more? Yeah. I'm not a big caramel gal. What? I just love caramel. It doesn't taste like a s'more. It tastes like caramel. Mm, I love it. You love caramel. I do. Why is there caramel in my s'more? Well, it says it on the back. It's not like they threw you for a loop. I wish I read that. Wow, that's funny. You got those and I like them more than you. <laughs> I, I'm not a big caramel person. I don't know why. Oh, I love it. I know you do. Put caramel in all my chocolate. <laughs> not, that's not what a s'mores doesn't have caramel in it. It just overtakes the whole thing. We're giving it back to him. That's funny. Oh, it's good. It's good. I just... That's not your favorite. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, we're in bed. I got my laptop. I have a few things I want to do on here. It's already 9.42, so we'll see what I can get done before I fall asleep. I have to order some stuff for a brand that I'm working with. Like, that's fun. Place an order, like pick items. I want to order plates for the Christmas party, like Christmas themed plates. I have a text from my manager that I need to reply to about filling out a form for a brand. So I need to do that. And then I would like to like look ahead 
on the next few days of vlogmas and plan what i'm going to film for each day because i have some content ideas and i think if i have what i want to film on each day planned out i'll be doing good like zane and i planned this day so i was like all right i'll have my vlog up and done and we had so much time today to go to costco i was able to clean the house very good time management so i want to stay on that and then also in my last video i told you guys that i was going to make a little gift guide for my wish list on things that i would like for christmas so I want to put that together. Oh, and I have an email thing. I need to fill this thing out for my therapist. So we'll see what we can get to, but I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Fun, fun. Bye, guys. Oh, that was so dope. It was blurry and then went into focus. Really? Yeah. And then I have a... What? Oh. This crock pot duck buffalo dip. Hello? <laughs> I feel like now I make this crock pot duck. Hello? <laughs>